Runway Gen 4 has arrived. The text to video revolution is here. Look how insane the quality is of these examples. All right, so we have a regular looking scene. We have a crosswalk and then all of a sudden the guy from the crosswalk sign jumps out and starts walking around. All of the lighting looks realistic. The cars look realistic. It is incredible. Here is one that is absolutely terrifying. It's a guy bird bird that looks like a guy guy that looks like a bird doesn't matter here's your nightmare fuel we have some chicken versions we have this odd looking flamingo guy Absolutely terrifying. And of course, he pulls his head all the way around. We have a turkey, a bunch of turkeys. Yep. With huge necks. Absolutely gross. And here are some hyper realistic demos that really could be any movie. Look at this. This looks like a scene out of the movie Dune. Okay, we have a woman walking around the forest. And what you'll notice is as she's walking, there are branches and leaves that are basically going across the screen, covering her up. And when she reappears on the other side of them, it's still exactly the physics that you would expect. Look at this. Really cool. Here's a beautiful Chevy. Here's something that looks like it was out of a Star Wars or a futuristic sci-fi movie. Here is something with a lot of fog. Looks like maybe Alaska water physics. Here's something that looks like Game of Thrones. Another car. This car doesn't look actually great, but the physics are still really good. And a rocket taking off. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Look at that. All right, we have some asteroids, an explosion, a woman on fire. The fire looks crazy. The jellyfish, the physics on the jellyfish. This looks like a scene out of Final Fantasy. Here's another spaceship. Really beautiful spaceship. Here's a robot, like kind of highly stylized robot. Look at that. Woman made out of rope, monkey, I mean, all of, look at that, unreal. There's a bridge on fire coming down. Oh, yeah, a little bit of oddness there, but just all of these look really incredible. All right, here's something that Eleanor built. Holy cow, I did this in 20 minutes with Runway Gen 4 images made by Reeve Image. Okay, so the initial images were made by Reeve and then uploaded to Runway. And here we go. Let's look at what these look like. All right, really, really good. All of the people look perfect. Look at the hands. The hands all look good. So she's talking. Not sure who she's talking to, but fine. They're all looking up, pointing. Oh, I see a little mistake here. Look at that. So we have this guy who's kind of taking a photo, but his arm is out the wrong direction. And then we have kind of his other arm coming out of this guy here. So a little flawed, but still really good. Beautiful old cars going by. The woman's face looks flawless. Yeah, look at that. I can't find a single mistake with her blinking, her glasses, her hands. I mean, really just perfect. Here's a little bit of issue. So look how the wheels in this car kind of come out and spin out. Can't tell what's forward, what's backwards, but still really, really good. So today we're introducing Gen 4, our new series of state-of-the-art AI models for media generation and world consistency. Gen 4 is a significant step forward for fidelity, dynamic motion, and controllability in generative media. All right, image to video rolling out today to all paid plans and enterprise customers. Gen 4 sets a new standard for video generation and is a marked improvement over Gen 3 Alpha. It excels in its ability to generate highly dynamic videos with realistic motion as well as subject, object, and style consistency with superior prompt adherence and best in class world understanding. That's crucial. That was kind of when Sora first came out, what it was really identified for, which was it has an understanding of the world, the physics of the world. And now we have something that could really be better. Okay. Little cartoons, polar bear jumping under. I mean, all of the people look incredibly real. And I think right now you only get like 10 or 20 seconds worth of video. But again, this is all the worst it'll ever be. Keep that in mind. Every time I show you something, this is the worst it will ever be. 
Okay, so cartoons, looks like a Pixar movie, just gorgeous. All right, let's look at this other one. This is a short movie, The Lonely Little Flame. So beautiful pigeon, kind of clay style. Everything looks really good. And you can even see the movement looks like the movement it should be based on the materials that are being used. So we have a little skunk walking around and you can kind of see the low frame rate in it, which maybe you would think this is like stop motion or something. Uh, so here we go, the lonely flame. Flame looks good. Coming up to the skunk. And yeah, don't touch the flame skunk. Yep, there you go, now you're on fire. Uh, flame sad, okay. I don't know what character this is. But uh, yeah, it just looks like claymation or stop motion animation. Uh, there's the flame. Oh, the rock. It's a rock. Okay, sure. And maybe the rock is the only thing the flame is going to be able to have fun with. Yeah, so weird little short, but nonetheless, it looks beautiful. All right, so this is New York is a zoo. All right, we have a rhino in the zoo. We have, yeah, different animals walking around New York City. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit of awkwardness in the movement, but overall, it looks really good. Okay, we have a giraffe walking around, an elephant just sitting there, a bear looking into kind of a fisheye lens, zebras drinking out of the river. Here's maybe Chinatown, a zebra looking at the camera, lion running around, some monkeys on a traffic light. I mean, those look flawless, something out of Jumanji maybe. Yeah, all of these look really good. So this next one is The Herd, a short film following a young man being chased through a field of cows at night. It was created using Gen 4 and just a few image references to build out each of the shots of the characters and the misty field of cows. It was then combined with Act 1 to bring the story together. All right, so we got a guy crawling through the field. Uh-oh. The cows look really flawless. That would be worth it. Definitely a little uncanny valley feeling here, but uh, still really good. Okay, a little gasoline going in the water. Let's see if he's going to light it. See the lighting if he does so. Yep, there's the match. The flames look incredible. Very realistic. The smoke is stunning. Look how the cows, you can see the silhouette against the backdrop of the flames. I mean, this is, this is very impressive. Yeah, you put some music behind it, put a little dialogue behind it, and it's, uh, you can imagine in a year, two years down the line when we're generating hour-long movies from this and you get to just say what you want. This is vibe movie making. I mean, it's incredible. All right, let's look at some more user-generated examples now. So I'm gonna turn the music off so my video doesn't get claimed and uh, let's just watch. So we have first the guy in a subway just standing there, let's see what happens. So he's looking around. And by the way, let's rewind for a second. See this pole right here? Look how it goes right over in between the camera and him and the guy comes out the other end. Look at all the little folds on the shirt. So look at this upside down V-shaped fold right there. Now I'm gonna rewind it and we're gonna watch it. So there it is and then it's covered up and it comes out the other end exactly the same. That is very cool, very impressive. Let's keep watching. Okay, we have a guy running. Running looks very natural. Here's uh, some paint splashing, which, wow, that looked really good. Let's look at the detail in this one. So we have a bunch of paint coming down and look at all of that, beautiful. Here's a car on a snowy road up in the mountains driving around. This looks really good. Okay, we have the flame and a little glass ball. We have a woman walking down the street with an umbrella. Now, one thing I do notice is look at all the water on the ground. There are some mistakes. If you look right here, look right here, I'm gonna play it. And you can kind of see it doesn't quite look right. As she's walking by, even though she's not touching the water, the water is kind of reacting to her movement. So not perfect, but still beautiful. Let's keep going. So guy in a room with a bunch of light balls. Here's a volcano, kind of looking like a volcano. 
gorgeous, gorgeous scene right here. A little explosion of fireworks and light, a little bit of mistakes. And here's a guy riding a skateboard with an umbrella. Really cool. All right, next we have what looks to be kind of a mother and daughter arguing with each other, although it's definitely awkward. They're not looking at each other. She's using her phone. She's pointing at something very angry. And yeah, the mother is not actually looking at the daughter. The daughter is pointing out into the middle of nowhere. She's very upset. Uh-oh, mama's standing. Now she's sitting, she looks very unhappy. Daughter's packing her bag, ready to go. Yeah, none of that looked good, actually, to be honest. Look how she's fumbling with her suitcase. It just does not look real at all. And the mother's just standing there looking, okay. I mean, look, I'm criticizing, but at the same time, this stuff didn't exist at all a year ago. All right, here's another one. This is kind of like fabric looking scene, definitely cartoonish, we have a bird. That looks like it was made out of uh, like pillow material, some fabric, and let's give it a watch. Yeah, this looks really good. Okay, we have the wings flapping away. Here's a caterpillar, same thing, very much like felt fabric material. This looks phenomenal. This may be my favorite one so far. This easily could be a full length movie if they just put a bunch of these different scenes together and a storyline and some sound effects. There's a Gorgeous snake. I mean, that is unbelievable. A porcupine coming out of a little hole. Again, everything is very like cartoonish and fabric-y. Okay, that is odd. A little fox running around. Doesn't look very real, but fine. There's a deer and a raccoon. The water dripping looks phenomenal, except let's go back for a second. So the dripping out of the mouth looks really good, except when it's hitting the water, it's not quite reacting how I would think it would react, but that's okay. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at that little ducks floating around in the water. And of course they're made of fabric, so they would be absorbing the water, but they're not. That is really good. I'm very impressed by this one. Good job, Timmy. All right, here is a rabbit running uh, with some kind of light trail coming off of its back almost like a maybe a rocket ship trail. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Here's a really cool one. We have a subway human, a cartoon on this side, and let's see what happens. Look at the lighting, by the way. So we have some kind of exterior lighting happening and reflecting perfectly on the cartoon. Also on the real subway, just the lighting came out perfectly. And then we have this, what looks to be a teddy bear holding an ice cream cone coming in. Okay, sitting right in the middle and just look at it. So it doesn't matter what style it's in, the hyper-realistic human getting the lighting perfectly, the kind of fuzzy teddy bear getting the lighting perfectly, and then the kind of more 2D cartoon getting the lighting perfectly as well. Very nice. This is by Mad Pencil. All right, and this may as well be a shot from a Pixar movie. Look at this. So we have a nice, cute character, and kind of doing something with lightning or electricity. The lighting, again, looks beautiful. Just a very short 10 second scene, but what you see could be extended and this could be made into a movie once again. Now we have a set of cars, hyper-realistic, but very futuristic looking cars. And uh, let's see what happens. So they light up, they back up, now the wheels are spinning much faster than they should be based on the speed of the car movement. And uh, it looks okay, not, not perfect, but it's cool, just far from realistic. All right, next we have a scene from what looks to be inside of a train looking out into kind of a misty forest as the train progresses. And it looks like maybe a luxury train. And uh, this looks really good. All of the forest, all of the trees are consistent. They're going by the window exactly how I would expect them to. Very nice. Next, we have a hyper-realistic scene of a few kind of wolves coming at you. Look at the wet, matted fur. That looks really good. All of the teeth, the tongue, the nose, all of the hair, the fur looks good. Let's keep a close eye on the lighting. The defocus the unfocus in the background and plus how they all interact with the water and the water physics let's watch the front wolf kind of goes out of focus now as the back ones become more in focus really nice 
All right, now we're going for hyper realism. We have a woman looking directly at the camera, some green or turquoise glow going on, and she is just screaming. Let's look. Okay, the teeth are all staying the same. The tongue is kind of a little awkward, I think I saw. Yeah, a little bit of morphing with the tongue, uh, but uh, very, very good nonetheless. And another one, we're going for hyper-realism. This looks like it could be maybe a model shoot. Uh, let's take a look. Very like dewy skin, a lot of silhouette action, shadows going over her face. Yeah, very impressive. There's so much detail and nuance going on in these videos and Gen 4 has to keep track of all of it. So I think this is a huge launch. I think this is very, very impressive. Now I don't have a runway account, but if you wanna see me put together a long video of trial and error and trying to get these videos to look really good, let me know in the comments. But that's it, let me know what you think. This is giving Sora a run for its money for sure. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.